everyone in case you're interested in how i made this beautiful bob highlighted wig please keep on watching so these are the things that i needed to use this is the bob wig it came in black and my customer wanted it colored and yeah a very very big thank you to all of you who watch my videos have subscribed always like and share I'm so grateful to you guys yes so we're going to get into the video so I sectioned the hair now I'm mixing the tint I'm using gold tint and 40 volume peroxide so here I used three but you can use at least three to four or five depending on the length of the hair mix it well i'm also going to need foil paper so i cut my foil and started applying the mixture onto the hair So while applying make sure that uh, you use enough product and then after that cover the hair into this foil paper. The foil paper helps to speed up the chemical reaction. Yes, so I also make sure that I secure my foil of my hair with a pin. So I'm skipping this middle hair, I'm going to do the next hair. So, fast forward as done with the first bunch. So, I'm going to uh, tint the hair that I had skipped because I want gold and brown. So, I'm done with the gold hair and I'm now going to uh, color or tint brown. So, using at least 20% volume. Of peroxide and then gold tint I'm going to go in there and apply all the hair so that I get a beautiful a golden brown color so here is done as you can see the brown was already popping and the gold was also popping and it's time for me to wash but excuse the messy background but this usually takes like five to seven hours <laughs> yes so by the time you're done everything is a mess but i was happy with the results it was time for me to wash out the product so i have already set my conditioner and my shampoo my towel and my waters already And I also uh, bleached the knots. So it's time for washing. While washing, don't squeeze, just massage the product out. But don't squeeze because the hair will break. we're using enough water and now here I'm going to again rinse with plain water then after apply shampoo twice and then rinse then do conditioner then do treatment sorry I didn't record all that so here I let it air dry overnight and the next day it was time for me to style so I'm going to use my Peter Tendo wig spray, a comb and a flat iron. So here I had already styled one side and onto the other side. So I'm going to show you how I iron the other side. So 
this is my wig spray it helps to detangle bring in sheen by the way i made it myself <laughs> yes it's my product i love it i love using it it acts as a heat protector it adds sheen it helps to moisturize the hair like it really does a lot since i started using it i've never looked backwards so it works on both synthetic wigs and human hair wigs. And yes. <laughs> I'll show you when they how I package and all that. But right now, let's get back right to the wig styling. So while styling the wig, make sure that you comb. And then here I'm using the, the comb chest method. This helps you to get well and hair so make sure to comb the hair properly and remove all those uh, tangled hair and then iron So this is our final product, yay! <laughs> yes, the client wanted these big stripes, so all the big highlights, and she was happy with her order. Yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for always watching and commenting to my uh, videos. Thank you, thank you. I'm so, so grateful. As you seeing, I got a beautiful brown and um, a beautiful gold highlighted wig. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. See you in the next video.